number of things have to happen. Uh, being in business, public corporation, tax reform. And we've talked to all of our politicians, at, at both at the, at the state level and the federal level, about this mess we have in, in taxes. And sure. by mess, I mean <clears throat> complicated, complex, and really does not lead to uh, business growth and development. We have the highest tax rate in the world, and when you net out deductions that we all get, it's still the highest tax rate in the world. So many people will say, well, look, the 35% corporate tax rate is not right. really real. Well, it's not. But the fact is, in our case, 30 31% is real, and that's still significantly higher than all of our competitors. After floors and floors of tax people and accountants and attorneys exactly. and everybody else that we all have in the world. So that's one that we've got to do personal tax reform, critical. And why do I say that? Because I'm not <coughs> thinking, for that matter, we just saw a big tax increase for, sure. I guess, 8% of the population. That's probably adequate. But I'm worried about our customer base and I that file as a personal, on a personal 1040 form. Most of our customers, the vast majority of manufacturers in this country, and most of our suppliers are what are called pass-through entities. Right. So they get they they look like a, co a company, they get the same deductions that a public company does, and they get the benefit of filing personally. So we just raised the taxes on our pass-through entities, our suppliers and manufacturers, and with tax reform coming <coughs> from corporations and not on the personal side, I worry about that disparity because suddenly our suppliers are less competitive if they're having to pay a higher tax rate. So I firmly believe we've got to attack both the personal structure and the corporate structure, but that raises the degree of difficulty tremendously politically because it's hard to do. It's hard work. But that's really what we have to do. Secondly, we've got to get after education <coughs> We've got Excuse to get me. after education reform in this country. And we are piling money on education and not getting much incremental investment out of it. I've been saying that the single room schoolhouse with the man <coughs> on the moon. And that was a pretty simple way to teach my dad, my mother, my grandparents. But guess what? They were as smart a people as we were because they did great <coughs> things in, those, in that Certainly. Area. We pour money at our system and we seem to get less. Um, we at CAT, when we go out for our hourly workforce, we reject 60% of the applicants. Some because of writing skills, math skills, technical skills, or lack thereof, and a lot of it on drug tests. So this country spends several hundred billion dollars a year on education, K through 12, and the person out of high school comes in for a job, <coughs> we reject six out of 10. That sounds like waste to me. So what are we getting for our dollars? What are we getting for our dollar? Right. It seems like there are lots of great ideas and smart people working on this. Lots of people have answers and there's good experiments going on around the country, but the system is holding us back. It takes great leadership. So those are. Those are two really huge items. And then our political system is dysfunctioning at the moment. It will correct itself. We have the most dynamic system on the planet. We've had tough times before. I grew up in the Vietnam era. We thought the world was coming apart and the country wouldn't survive. Well, we did. And we'll get through this too. But we really need to pay attention to that as voters and as people involved in the system. So. The lineup is very long of things we need to do, and they're big, <coughs> tough, thorny problems. The debt load we have all taken on at every level, whether it's government, business, individuals, student loans, you name it, is worrisome. And we've just watched the continent of Europe go through that, the, uh, the excesses of debt. And there's a big lesson there, and I think we are getting our arms around that here in this country, and we're, we will be ahead of it, but it's a tough one. Thank you.